To begin the assembly of your Bulldog folding trailer, tip it back onto the rear bar, pull forward on the draw bar and unfold the trailer onto a flat surface. You'll want to spread out the swing arms in order to be able to access the ends of the swing arms where your hubs will be installed. It's easiest to set the swing arms up on two five gallon buckets so that the ends with the pre-drilled, two pre-drilled holes are hanging over the buckets that give you access to installing the hubs. So locate one of the hubs, they can uh, go on either side and you'll see that there are two different bolts and one bolt is in a slotted adjustment hole and it will have a flanged nut on it as you can see right there and it also has a lock nut. On the underside of the bolt head there will be a washer. That washer goes between the bolt head and the top of the axle assembly. There is not a washer between the flange nut and the bottom of the axle assembly. The flange nut needs to bite directly into the underside of the axle assembly. And again, it goes in that slotted adjustment hole. The other bolt that is in the round hole is your pivot bolt for when the trailer folds and it does not have a flange nut. It will have a washer, hex nut, and then nylock lock nut and it will also have a washer between the bolt head and the axle assembly. So make sure that you got the right bolts with the right nuts and the right holes. Uh, most importantly, the flange nut in the slotted adjustment hole bolt. So go ahead and line up your axle assembly and push bolt, both bolts down through uh, the holes through the swing arm and then you want to thread the flange nut on the bolt in the slotted adjustment hole. And uh, you know, go ahead and snug it up with your hand tight for right now. And then you can just loosely put the lock nut on for the time being. Um, it's really important that you have the flanged nut on the bolt in the slotted adjustment hole and directly against the underside of the axle assembly without any washer in between. On the pivot bolt, you will, inst uh, you will install a washer and then you'll put the hex nut and go ahead and tighten that up finger tight against the bottom of the axle assembly and then thread your lock nut on. So Right now, you've got both of your axle assemblies installed. You'll do the same, obviously, for the other side. And so now you're ready to put your uh, wheels on the trailer. So make sure you have the valve stem of the uh, wheel uh, facing outwards and not inwards. And put all five lug nuts on. Just put them on finger tight for right now with the trailer being elevated and make sure you have the cone end of the lug nut facing inwards so it seats in the hole in the in the wheel and so you definitely want to make sure you have the cone end of the lug nut facing inwards so go ahead and uh, just snug those up finger tight and you'll want to then get a lug nut wrench and tighten those down uh, and then you're ready to take the trailer off of the five gallon buckets and continue with your wheel alignment. So it's very important that you take the trailer off of the five gallon buckets to do the wheel alignment. You do not want to have the trailer up in the air uh, to do the wheel alignment. You want to have both tires resting on the ground and with the weight of the trailer on it. The easiest way to, to uh, tighten up the lug nuts is to chalk the trailer tires with something so that they're not wanting to spin. And you want to do your tightening in a star type of pattern where you go from one lug nut directly across to the next lug nut 
and then across from it to the next lug, lug nut and that gives you the most even seating of the tire onto the hub. So go ahead and snug those down pretty tight. It's always a good uh, thing to once you have the trailer completely put together and ready to go to recheck these to make sure that they're all nice and tight before you uh, tow the trailer down the road.